Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video, we will discuss unit 3, 2 marks explanation of the subject statistics for management. So the first important, very important question is what is sampling? Okay, what is sampling means whatever the some part of the selection is there ma. For sample, sample product, sample price, sample uh, thing we will tell no. What is it means the process of selecting some part of aggregate based on which judgment is about made whatever the judgment you want to make about the particular thing whatever the sample some part of amount you are taking from that product or a service or a pro anything that is called sampling okay so sampling for example it is a process of acquiring information about the entire population through evaluation of its small part see for example in india there are 1.3 billion people see it is not that every in every home they went and they have checked that it is not a thing whatever the some part of thing are there based on the population on that they are guessing the overall population in india that is called sampling what is the benefits of sampling it will reduce the cost it will reduce the uh, uh, expenses and it will save time it will save labor cost also okay okay uh, next one you are having administrative convenience administrative convenience is nothing about the whatever the survey you are doing it will be re required less tough okay next uh, detailed study means proper uh, in de depth study will be included in that like there are various advantages in the sampling only no next one you are having explain sampling and non sampling errors sampling errors is nothing about the since only some portion of the population is studied its results are bound to different from the census results having certain amount of error when you are taking sampling errors we are taking only some part of the population with that popular part of the population we are taking entire answer that time you are having your errors chance okay but non sampling uh, errors are not attributed means uh, whatever the sequence are there it will have the planning and executing and collecting the data analyzing the data processing the data everything it will be getting okay next one only important questions only we are discussing ma. next important question is type 1 error and type 2 error type 1 error is nothing about the whenever we reject the null hypothesis when it should be accepted in place of accepted if we rejected then it is called type 1 okay so when we need when we are accepting see for example you need to accept that null hypothesis but you are rejecting it that type of things you are called type 1 error you need to reject it but you are accepting the null hypothesis that is called type 2 error simple thing these two lines if you have written in the examination means it will be enough for two marks okay next one you are having properties of good estimator like for example unbiasedness means without any bias whatever the information you are there, there it should be equal and it should be without any discrimination okay next consistency consistency is one of the property of a good estimator whoever is predicting in organization he should be consistent in, in nature next efficiency efficiency he needs to be efficient in the circumstances whatever is happening in the organization next one you are having sufficiency whatever the information are there whatever the resources are there it should be sufficient in nature also so these are four are the main qualities of the properties of a good estimator next one you are having standard error ma. standard error of a sampling distribution is also known as standard error the thing is you need to remember this formula under root variance t this is the standard error when there are chance or random forces are that that type of things is called standard error okay next and the last one you are having starified random sampling starified random sampling it is a process which divides the population into homogeneous groups that is called strata okay a sample is taken from each group by simple random method and resulting the sample is called sampling stratified sampling so these are the thing of the uh, stratified random sampling i hope that you have got clarity so this is also one of the important question for two marks just prepare all these questions okay uh, all the very best for your examination preparation see you all in next video bye bye everyone